Y'all want to know what's one of the best things to get in the kitchen is a new pot because it's so shiny. It's just sitting here all glistening and glowing. And you want to treat it like a new car. Y'all know what I mean? You don't want to let nobody eat in it. It's no scratches. It's no marks. You don't have nothing on it. But then you're thinking about something good to make in it. You got to cook something good for that first time to enjoy this pot. And that's what we're going to do today. Oh, yeah. We got good old short ribs. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to do today. And for our side dishes, we got some asparagus and potatoes. Something simple today. Not a bunch of ingredients. Not a bunch of stuff. We're going to hit you with a quick one. And we're going to throw some aromatics in there with the beef. Some good old onions. So let's go ahead and break this pot in. We're going to come up with a name for the pot. What are we going to call this, uh, this red baby right here? Uh... Y'all know what I'm talking about. Everybody got a name for one of their favorite pots in the kitchen or their cars, so. Oh, no. It's the devil's furnace. Yeah, <laughs> Big Red is too cliche. So exactly. What else can we call her? Go ahead and comment down below and let us know what we should call our new baby. All right. Let's get cooking. Now that we've got the onions chopped up. He dang near died and crying in here, oh, y'all. I ain't gonna embarrass him like that today. Oh my god. Y'all know how y'all know how it is chopping onions. That thing burn your eyes. And now that we've got most of the bone dust and stuff cleaned up off the short ribs, I'm gonna go ahead and chop them down to each bone. I'm gonna show y'all a couple pieces. So we're just gonna go right in the middle. Chop it good. Yeah. I'm gonna go right in the middle of each bone. Voila. See? And now you've got just the bone itself and the piece that it's connected to. Just go ahead and make them into bite-sized pieces so they fry up quick. We hungry. Yeah, we hungry, so we got to move kind of quick today. I can't leave them in whole pieces like we normally do. <laughs> Look, y'all, he's still over here uh, sniffing from them daggone onions. Yes. Look, that's one thing. You want to see your man cry, your husband cry? Just go ahead and tell him to come in the kitchen and cook with you with them onions. Like instant tears. Mm -hmm. You can't deny it then. All right. Now that I've got the vast majority all chopped up. So we got some kosher salt, onion powder. Garlic powder. Can you pass me that little steak seasoning over there? We're only gonna use a little bit of that though. No. The mesquite? No. Yeah. No. I I I'm gonna have to veto this. No, not today. Yeah, not today. Okay. She she's asking for this, y'all. But not today. What you want? Yes, this will be great, but not today though. Alright, well we're just gonna keep it simple then. Just Yeah, let's keep it simple. He's gonna cook in some beef stock too, so you don't wanna overly yeah, do it. You don't wanna overly salt them and stuff. These one of them meats where that marble and that flavor gonna have its own little. You want more? Yeah, go ahead. Be a little generous with the onion and the uh, garlic. Okay. That's good. Right. Even though we're gonna use fresh onions too. Yeah, I know, cause he picky sometimes. So that's good. He in the kitchen. Yeah. In the kitchen today. Me and mom doing a collab video today. Look, I'm just trying to make him cry in the kitchen. I need him to spill <laughs> all the secrets. <laughs> Oh, and don't forget a little bit of flour too. Okay, and this is for that color. You're gonna have your beef stock coming out. I mean, and this is for the color. So at the end, it's gonna have that nice rich red that you want. You know, you can just go ahead and pull some of that right on there so it can get nice and sticky. I ain't even gonna do the extra step of flouring it. Let's do everything right in this pot. Should I put your pepper in there? Okay. Look. I'm going to put you to work. Come on. I'm going to shake this pepper because you're going to need a lot. And I didn't have my workout today. Look. I was trying to be funny. I thought he was going to catch on to that. What workout you talk about. Exactly. Look. They all be paying attention, y'all. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, you did it now? Yep. All right, 
Now it's time to get dirty. Yeah, mom, gonna go ahead and give it a good mix. Uh oh, let me get some of this liquid out of No, 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 no. Leave that, leave that. I know, but it's good, it's good. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna get it nice and tacky. Yeah. Ooh, a lot of liquid. And that's a lot of red. Did y'all see how much it in made after you got everything cut down? I forgot. How many pounds was it? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Let me use both hands. I'm yeah, there to, you go. Trying to mix with one. Mm -hmm. Trying to be all fancy. <laughs> and this flour going to give us a nice little rich gravy at the end. Well, make sure you mix that good, Mom. Yeah. All right, while well, I'm doing this, go ahead and start heating up the heating up the pot. All right, you got to add some oil in the pan. And this is just some basic peanut oil. It's nothing fancy. All right, so we're going to start laying them in. Hope that's hot enough. There go that scissors. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they get browned on both sides, we're going to take it out. So, we're going to have a few batches of these. Like when the last time y'all had some short ribs. I know, right? Normally, we barbecue them up with our Korean barbecue. And if y'all wanted to add some, you know, other things like the carrots and the onions or whatever else, you can do that. But we're not really going for that flavor profile today. All right, now that we're... Oh, goodness gracious. That thing just popped me, y'all. All right, now that we're pretty much halfway through, we're going to go ahead and start giving them a flip. And don't worry about if they a little stuck. Just work with them. Give them a little nudge. Turn them over. Oh, yes. Y'all see that? That thing looks good. That's that quality of that meat soup. Yes, indeed. And don't forget, y'all want it to look like this in the bottom. With that good old browning in the bottom. That's nothing but flavor down there, y'all. Nothing but flavor. Don't take the pan off a little bit so it don't get... That thing hot, girl. You better use a uh, pot handle. No, that's not hot yet, but yeah, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need one soon though. Yeah. Look, let's hope these um short ribs make it to the end of this dish because the way they looking right now, Man. you're gonna have to snag and grab a piece of two. Look, I gotta keep daddy out of this dang one pot because he gonna be the main one. Yeah, because I'm eyeballing one and two right there. No, like, I was already taste, going taste, for that piece. Taste testers. No, that's my piece. I was already going for that one. You can go for one of the other ones on the other side. I'm already looking to taste test. Make sure we got the seasoning right. You know, that's the excuse I'm going to use. <laughs> exactly. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and run through this whole batch. When we come back, we should be ready to put the onions on and deglaze the bottom of the pan. We're going to see y'all in a second, all right? All right. So now that we finish... Good old short ribs over there fried up. We got to dump and get rid of some of this grease. Now we can go ahead and throw our onions in there. Right down. Yes, you sir. opened up my beef stock already. Yeah, Why does it feel lighter? It's not. After we let them sweat for a second, we're going to deglaze the pan. And that's going to consist of beef stock and a splash of red wine vinaigrette and we're also going to add tomato paste to the sauce liven it up give it some flavor yep, we prepping y'all for the holiday time already because this one of them good holiday dishes or one of those dishes where you want to be fancy and entertain you got a hot date coming over or just any occasion make this they gonna love you oh yeah All 
right now that we've got it mostly semi deglazed as you can see a lot of them good old pieces on the bottom then came up whoop, whoop. we're gonna start adding the beef stock now you can get this out of your local grocer or you know you can make it yourself in the house out of some beef bouillon and some water or you can use coconut milk however you want you want to use the whole thing? Yep, use the whole thing. Bam. Don't worry, the onions, they still gonna cook down. And I was on sale too. Oh, for so real? It, that worked out perfectly. And it's easy to get out because it's in the tube. Mm -hmm. Do about a teaspoon and a half. About two, ta two tablespoons. Yeah, don't make it too acid. Yeah, you know, Mama, she got a problem with too much acid. Yeah. And what that's going to do, that tomato base. Yeah, it's going to liven it up. Mm -hmm. It looks like we making some French onion soup. I know, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Y'all like French onion soup? What's next, Mama? Okay. So simmer? Yeah, just go ahead and let that simmer for a quick second, and then we're going to move on. All right, so this is exactly what you want to see now. It's starting to come up to that nice simmer. And we're going to go ahead and start adding in the beef. Look how that beef look. It is so tender already. We just want to make sure that they get nice and coated with that sauce. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get the side dishes ready. The asparagus and the mashed potatoes okay and then once you get everything in the pan let's go ahead and give it a stir and we're gonna go ahead and let this simmer down for about a good hour let this sauce go ahead and get nice and thick and coated on these short ribs and like we said if you're using the bigger style short ribs you can do this the same way i'm gonna put it on low to like a medium low for about an hour and we'll come back and check on it all right this how it's looking it's been about 40 minutes y'all see how much that sauce then thickened up here go the potatoes i just put those on they about to come up to a boil now this was a big bag of asparagus from costco we didn't pretty much already ate half of that so i'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of this for this dinner and it's gonna be good to go. Whenever you take the top off, it's gonna get that gravy a little bit more thicker because that air is hitting it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this for about another 15, 20 minutes with the top off. Y'all see daddy with that swipe just now? It's falling off the bone. Mm -hmm. mm. You hear that bubbling? You hear bubbling? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Now we gotta get daddy to do the taste test because Y'all be asking for that at the end, so we're going to go ahead and give it to you tonight. Look at this. The sauce king. He couldn't do a plate. Nah, I, I got to put mine in the bowl. Look, he had to put his in the bowl. I'm drowning mine in sauce. <laughs> I'm going to make sure he get his vegetables. He's going to eat everything up. Mm. 
Don't that plate look pretty and vibrant? Thanks for rolling with the fam. We'll see y'all on the next one. Don't forget to don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, where's my spoon? That is yours. Oh, okay. Oh, well, look at that. Let's do it. We're going for the taste. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I've been already tasting. Exactly. Mm. Hold on. Make sure we eat our veggies. And catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. And I'm out too. The kids about to come out here and fix the plate.